welcome to another Java tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at custom windows. Um, so essentially what that is, is uh, as you can see here, I have two custom, oh no, I have one custom window. Um, as This one over here, as you can see, has a frame around it. You have the basic minimize, maximize, uh, and exit buttons attached to it, but this one does not. I added a minimize and an exit button here, and you can still drag it around, uh, but does not have this uh, familiar uh, in window encasing graphic on it. Um, so essentially, this allows you to make a cust some customized buttons and text, and so basically, you don't need to use the Windows or Macintosh kind of like default uh, graphics. So you can definitely like customize your Java program however you please. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, so this is how I kind of did it here. Um, so by the way, I have this like static point up here that um, holds uh, the X and Y coordinates of the mouse so I can use them in further down in the program down here because uh, they're separated by some different by different listeners. Um, so anyway, I have uh, this program right here is split into two panels. Uh, the top panel, which is has a mouse listener, two mouse listeners attached to it, and the center panel has daily squat, has nothing on it, it's blank. Um, and I added a flow layout um, to the top panel. Uh, so that means that all the buttons will flow to the right, or as I stated, uh, right here, um, to kind of mimic that kind of uh, the buttons up here. Um, so now I have I can also move it around like a regular, you know, window, um, as I will explain down here. So I separate between two things: a mouse listener and a mouse motion listener. For the mouse listener, I have the basic things, mouse release, pressed, exited, entered, clicked. Um, so essentially when I press it down, it will get the point of the, of the uh, mouse so I can use it for the mouse motion uh, listener. So this just kind of gets the points of the mouse, the X and Y points. Now, um, for I added a mouse motion listener to the top panel. Um, and under mouse dragged right here, I uh, created a new point and uh, got the location on the screen of the uh, of the current window. So now that when I move it, it's going to constantly update the window's location, as it says right here. So essentially, it's going to go through this command every single time uh, I click and move. It's going to consistently get the position of all of my mouse and uh, move the window accordingly, which is pretty swell, if you ask me. Um, so now with this like simple set of code, I can actually just move this window around without requiring this window, this uh, preset window over here, which is incredibly handy if you want to intensely... Um, customize your Java programs like I do. Um, so down here, uh, which is the most important one, actually, is the, uh, I set the frame, J frame, as undecorated. So essentially, this is a window decoration with, you know, like you have the border around here and, you know, the icon, the program text, and these three buttons. Um, I over here I set that this is undecorated so it's not even going to include that so essentially if I got rid of that it would look exactly like this instead of this because you can see I still have this I can still drag it around so I set as undecorated removes this frame and I added these special properties to it that allows you to minimize and exit the program if necessary because those features have been removed by setting it as undecorated. Um, so since I went over that anyway, I might as well go over the minimize button because actually that one was fairly new to me uh, a while ago where you can actually set the state of the J-frame 
Uh, so in this case, I set it as iconified. So whenever you press minimize, it is indeed going to minimize the program because without it, it's going to be kind of challenging as it does not exist. Over here, it's no problem because it's right here. But when you get rid of the decoration, it you get you kind of lose a functionality to kind of exit and minimize and all that good stuff. So you kind of have to add some sort of feature somewhere to include those basic, you know, things. Uh, so that's kind of it, to be honest. You know, like the exit button just exits the program, and uh, and all that jazz. Uh, so it's pretty simple. Uh, all the source code is going to be linked in the description below. If you learn something, uh, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing, then please subscribe. That would help a lot. If you have a suggestion for future videos or any kind of future content, please put that in the description. If you have any question, not the description, comments. Uh, if you have any questions about the program that I just wrote or, you know, like just general Java help. Also put that in the comments. I will try to reply to them as fast as I possibly can. I actually like doing, like responding to these questions because, you know, they're usually things I don't really think of normally. So please don't hesitate to do that. So yeah, that's essentially it. It will be all be linked in the description, so please look at that. Uh, use it in your own programs freely, I don't care. And there's actually a lot of content in this program. You know, like there's the minimize, there's the exit button, there's the uh, flow layout in case you didn't know what that was. Uh, mouse listeners and motion listeners in here, undecorated frames, you know, setting a program the j frame in the center you know like all this stuff is compiled in this one program that you can like pick apart all the cool things that you like about it so don't don't let me tell you like what specifically is cool about this program pick it apart find stuff that you like about it add it to your own programs and expand your general java knowledge um so for the time being that's that's it um so i guess i'll see you next time